could take grade 1. Today, we're going to talk about the lesson that will surely be helpful for you. And before we start, let's read our learning target. I can describe continuous and growing patterns and find the missing terms in a given pattern. To start, what is a pattern? A pattern is a repeating arrangement of numbers, shapes, colors, letters, and objects. Now, first, we have number patterns. So, a number pattern is a list of numbers that follows a certain pattern or sequence. So, examples are, of course, we have here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Then, what is the missing number? Yes, the missing number is 12 because we follow the skip counting by 2 pattern. We also have 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. What's the missing number? There, it's 20 because we still follow the number pattern for escape counting by 2. Next, we have continuous patterns. Continuous patterns have different elements that go on and on and have no ending. So examples are, of course, when we count from 1 to 10. So when you see these three dots, it means that you'll just continue counting up until you reach the biggest number. Then we also have the alphabet. So we have here from A to J and then you just keep on saying the letters in the alphabet up until you reach the last one. And of course, we have here the blocks with white dots. So we have here two dots, three dots, four dots, five dots, and six dots. So we may, we may already think that the next dots will be seven because of the continuous patterns. Next, we have what we call the growing patterns. So the growing patterns and continuous patterns, somehow they are the same. But with growing patterns, the numbers or elements, they become bigger in size or in number. So examples are, of course, we have years 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then, of course, these numbers are getting bigger. And we also have here the elements X and then an octagon and then X two octagons, and then another X, and then three octagons. So we may already think that the next set will be one X and then four octagons because the numbers of the octagons are just getting bigger in this pattern. Next, we have what we call the shrinking patterns. So the shrinking patterns have numbers or elements that become smaller. So unlike the growing, shrinking patterns, they become smaller in number or in size. So... We have here examples. So we have here the numbers 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, and then 2. So the numbers are getting smaller. We also have the ice cream scoops. So we have here 8 scoops and then we go down to 6, we go down to 4, we go down to 2, and then there's none. We also have the circle. So we have here 8, then we go down to 4, then we go down to 2, and then there's none. There you go. Next, we also have what we call the repeating patterns. Now, repeating patterns, when elements are repeated in a sequence, then we see a repeating pattern. So, examples, we have here heart, star, heart, star, heart, star, heart, and star. So, what do you think are the next objects? Yes, good job. We will have the heart and the star because they just keep on repeating in this lineup. We also have here square, triangle, circle. Square, triangle, circle. Square, triangle, circle. Then we also have a square. So what do you think will be the next objects? You're correct. The triangle and the circle. There you go. Now, the set of repeating elements is called pattern unit. The pattern unit in a repeating pattern never changes. So they just keep on popping out in the lineup. So we have here square. Triangle and circle. We have here again square, triangle, and circle. Now, we can also use other elements that show and follow the same pattern, and we call them translating patterns. So, like here, instead of using the names for square, triangle, and circle, we just use 1, 2, and 3. And then, we will use here again 1, 2, and 3. There you go. Good job, my dear grade 1. Now you already know what are the patterns and how we find the missing elements or objects in them. Good job.